Alchemical Records newsletter, September 9th, 2021. I spent some of the weekend coloring with my three-year-old daughter. When we would first color together, the whole page would be one color, even though individual characters were clearly defined in traditional children's coloring book fashion. Most recently, I saw her coloring individual characters separate colors, but there isn't a whole lot of definition inside the lines, as if each character is meant to consist of its actual shape as well as an aura of color around it. Having an older child as well, I can anticipate that over time, the future phases of our coloring sessions will reveal more and more proficiency. No matter how hard I try, I cannot flip a switch to activate the skills that one might identify as milestones in artistic or creative development. The three-year-old is not able to duplicate the results of the 11-year-old, and neither of them are yet able to duplicate the results of a regularly syndicated comic strip, so the odds of them contributing to one of the comic books I used to read as a kid are probably pretty slim without significantly more practice and or professional instruction. It's funny that when we become adults that many of us fail to remember that all aspects of our development have gone through these phases, often even expecting that we should begin a new undertaking with knowledge and abilities well beyond our experience or capabilities. Regardless of whether or not you want to be the lead artist of your favorite comic book, the lead actor in the next Hollywood blockbuster, the drummer in your favorite band, or sell some handmade jewelry on Etsy, I believe you can. If you are so compelled to follow your heart to the ends of the earth to achieve that vision, I think you should. It is in the hopes of inspiring others and developing successful processes for creative individuals that I've stayed in the game so long and been on the most recent part of my two decades long journey. I'm incredibly thankful to Arvind Venugopal of Empathy Speak and Lisa Coleman of Local DMV Business and Leisure Podcast for allowing me the opportunity to be guests on their podcasts and share that journey with their listeners. I think you'll really appreciate these two DMV area podcasters and their different approaches to producing quality and meaningful content, much like the musicians we have the pleasure of sharing with you. Speaking of podcasts, I took a break from publishing our own Alchemicast with Andy Reid last week, but plan on delivering the episode Andy recorded with Ben DeHaan, who just released his latest single, Oxen Hill. We're developing something of a reunion show with some of our past guests, and I hope to have more details on that shortly. I'd hoped to have that ready to roll out before Ben's appearance on the show, but as we are still developing that, I want to make sure that you get the chance to enjoy the episode while it is still pertinent to his latest adventures. After that, we hope to be back in a few short weeks with new episodes. In closing, I'd like to mention something that's been on my heart this week. I remember where I was the morning of September 11th, 2001, and I remember the aftermath. I think of the lives lost on that day and for the members of our military that would be sent overseas. I remember it with clarity because I made a commitment then to music rather than enlisting. Friends of mine made other decisions and it was the last time I would see them. I am thankful every day to our servicemen and service women for their sacrifices, providing me the opportunity to express my freedom through music. Thanks to you for reading, for your continuing support of the artists, and for our work here at Alchemical Records. Daniel.